Hi everyone! Today I will show you how to make an ingredient for Korean cooking, sticky rice cakes. They are commonly used for tteokbokki and tteokguk. Many people cannot find these sticky rice cakes around where they live. But with this recipe you can make sticky rice cakes at home and can enjoy tteokbokki and tteokguk. For steaming, fill almost half of a pan with water and boil it on high. Meanwhile, combine 3 cups of rice flour and 1 teaspoon of salt. Slowly add 1 and half cups of water and stir it gently. The rice flour will be crumbly. Prepare a wet cheesecloth. Place the cheesecloth in a steamer. Add the rice flour on top of the cheesecloth. Once the water starts to boil, steam the rice flour for about 20 minutes on high. In a bowl, add one and a half cup of cold water and one teaspoon of sesame oil. If you don't like sesame oil, you can use normal cooking oil instead. After 20 minutes, the rice flour will be cooked like this. The dough will be hot, so wear gloves before placing plastic gloves over your hands to help prevent burning your hands. Use a bread machine to knead the dough. I used the pizza dough setting for 25 minutes. After 25 minutes, the texture will become very sticky. When you handle the dough, put some of the oil and water on your hands and the board so that the dough will not stick to things. Take some of the dough and round it. Roll it on a board with your hands until it becomes about half an inch in diameter. Cut it into 2 inch pieces. This is for tteokbokki or tteokgochi. For tteokguk duck, roll the dough into 1 inch diameter. Leave it in a room temperature for a day before you cut it. If you put some water on your knife, it makes it easier to cut. Slice it diagonally into quarter inch pieces. Put the rice cakes in freezer bags and keep them in the freezer. If you don't have a bread machine, Please see my blog at ediskitchen.com. Thank you for watching. See you soon again. Bye.